Hello, dear sisters. How have you been? How has your week been? And I kind of wanted to apologize a little bit for uploading my videos not really consistently lately. I have been out of town and we also had some internet connection problems. That's why I haven't been uploading them really consistently. So I'm sorry, but uh, now everything is fine. Uh, I am back home and our internet is working good. So videos will be coming out more consistently. So before I start, I wanted to share a little, a little story with you. Many years ago, probably about eight, uh, I was volunteering in pregnancy choices clinic. And a very interesting paper caught my eye that was laying on one of the ladies in pregnancy choices on her desk. And um, as I looked at it, it was a, I guess, a, I would say like a pattern of praying for your husband from head to toe. And I was really intrigued by that paper. Uh, but unfortunately, I, didn't, I was not able to get it from that lady at that moment, although I wanted to. And then for years, that idea was in my mind, but I never actually acted upon searching it out or doing something about it and finding out what it is all about. And then maybe two or three years ago, I decided I'll just go in to do it myself. I'm going to put together a, a biblical pattern with Bible verses of praying for my husband from head to toe. And basically, to some degree, I guess, I reinvented the wheel. <laughs> and I actually, I'm really glad that I did it myself without any crutches, as I would call them, because I was able to search the scriptures for Bible verses myself, which pertain for praying for my husband from head to toe. And I will obviously, obviously, I will explain what it what it truly means. And I was, as I was analyzing that uh, very detailed type of prayer for my husband, I came to the conclusion that as I pray for his head, the Bible verses that pertain to praying uh, for, for our heads, I was praying for his mind. Or as I was praying for his mouth, I was praying for his speech, or as I was praying for his eyes, I was praying for, for his vision, physical and spiritual, or as I was praying for his ears, I was praying for his hearing, hearing the voice of the Lord. Or as I was praying for his heart, I was praying for his emotions. Or as I was, as I was praying for his hands, I was praying for his actions. And as I was praying for his feet, I was praying for his daily walk with the Lord. And obviously in our little manual that many of you requested, and I sent you a couple of forms, I'm sure many of you found this form praying for your husband from head to toe. And this is a spectacular, probably one of the best ways how you can pray for your husband. Um, so what it is, it's very simple, but at the same time, very rewarding and very deep because you will be praying scripture for your husband. So if you want, you obviously can request this form and I will send it to you. But I also would encourage you to put it together yourself. It's extremely rewarding and exciting. So what we are seeing here is we are covering our husband with, by prayer, uh, by our intercession from head to toe. We are praying for his head, which is his mind. And I'm providing a list of scriptures that talk about uh, praying for our head or our mind, which is 1 Peter 1, 13, 2 Timothy 1, 7, Philippians 2, 5, or 4, 7, Ephesians 4, 23. And how do we pray? I would say that we kind of, to some degree, roughly paraphrase the scripture, or you can even not paraphrase, just pray that scripture over your husband. For example, I will give you an example on praying for our husband's minds. This is how you will pray, approximately, obviously. I pray that blessing would always be upon my husband's head, and obviously uh, put his name in there. That he will always be renewed in the spirit of his mind, and that he would love you, Lord, with all his heart, soul, and with all his mind. What can be better than pray a prayer like that? This is 100% scriptural. And we know, obviously, that the whole word of God 
is God breathed, inspired by the Holy Spirit. So basically you're praying uh, as would Holy Spirit would pray through you. You're praying God's word. Then you would pray for his mouth and speech. Colossians 4, 6, Song of Songs 4, 3, 1 Peter 4, 11, 1 Thessalonians 2, 4. And the list just goes on and goes on. This is how you would pray. I would give you a couple more examples. I pray that my husband will only speak wisdom and his speech with, will all with, uh, sorry, and his speech will always be with grace, seasoned with salt, he, that he may know how he ought to answer every man. And as he speaks, let him speak as, speak as the oracles of God. May he always speak life. Set a watch before his mouth. What a wonderful, wonderful way to pray for your husband. And as I told you, as I, re <laughs> as I reinvented the wheel and put this list myself, later I thought, actually yesterday, I thought, after all these years, maybe I should go online and find out, <laughs> you know, if somebody else is praying for their husbands from head to toe. Yes, yes, and yes, a lot of women do. And they also have a lot of information on their websites, how to do it, and they give you Bible verses if you're a little bit, uh, you know, maybe short on, in time and you don't have enough of time to put it together yourself, please go. And here is the package that I, you know, printed out from their websites because I wanted to expand, it, expand my list also. But I don't know if I'll use this little crutch, but maybe I will, maybe not. But I definitely wanted to expand, you know, uh, the way I pray for my husband from head to toe. And you know, you're probably wondering, oh my word, you know, we have, uh, we are already covering our husbands for their, uh, you know, with their physical, emotional, spiritual, financial needs. We are already covering them in prayer for their everyday needs. Now we are on top of that, we are going to pray for them from head to toe. Yes and no. You know, it's all obviously up to you. You know, it depends how much time you have and how much you love your husband, you know, and you know, desire to cover him in prayer. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. I'm sure you're already noticing. And obviously, I want to encourage you again and again, ask your husband from, how, from time to time, how is the Lord answering your prayer so you can be encouraged? But if he would say, oh, nothing is really changing or things are really not doing, doing that great at work or maybe he's out of work or maybe he lost his job, do not get discouraged. This might just be a test, you know, for you to be that in fortunate widow and keep going and keep going to the Lord and presenting your requests before the Lord again and again and again. And if you are encouraged, please listen to that video on the, uh, and, uh, on the importunity in prayer that I put together so you can be encouraged. Okay, let me um, mention one more thing. And obviously many of you probably already know about this, but it kind of goes hand in hand with what I just shared in uh, praying for our husbands from head to toe. Uh, there is nothing better, absolutely nothing better than praying scripture over ourselves and over our husbands, over our children, over our families, things like that. Like for example, Galatians um, 5, 22, ver verses from 22 to 26. What can be better than praying this spectacular scripture? And I do every day for myself and for my husband. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And you can go on obviously. What can be better than praying for your husband or for yourself, for the Holy Spirit to create those virtues, the, that, those fruits of the Holy Spirit in you? Without Holy Spirit working and producing those fruits, you will not be able to love, you will not be able to have joy, you will not be able to have peace or long suffering or kindness or gentleness, etc. So please pray the scripture, it's tremendous. And obviously, another incredible idea is to study or write out biblical prayers. Like, for example, one in Coloss Colossians, uh, verse 9 up to verse 11. And it goes on, actually, up to maybe even verse 14. 
It is a prayer, Holy Spirit praying through Paul, and we can, you know, echo that prayer along with the Word of God to the Lord. And obviously, this prayer is going to be answered. This is Holy Spirit praying. For this cause also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might work worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long-suffering with joyfulness. And obviously, what, what can be better than praying such a rich, rich, meaty prayer for yourself and for your husband? It's it just, it's absolutely spectacular. Let me uh, um, present you a couple more things that I wanted you to uh, encourage you to, to pray. Just one second. Ephesians 1, 16 up to 19. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of, he, of his calling and what the riches of, of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward, to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Again, what can be better than praying for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of the Lord? That the eyes of your husband's understanding may be enlightened, that he may know the, the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of the Lord. So it's just, it's absolutely spectacular. Or Ephesians 3 verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend, comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Incredible prayers to pray for your husband, absolutely spectacular, and I do. I do. My Bible is obviously always next to me as I pray for my husband, and the more I pray these biblical prayers, they're all, you know, marked in my Bible, uh, the more I just saturate myself with them, and then when I just pray throughout the day, that's what comes out, you know, those biblical prayers. I echo the Holy Spirit. You know, so I'm praying the mind of God, you know, for my husband. So be encouraged, keep praying, and Lord wills, I'll see you next week. God bless.